From here you can see one of the small groves, decorated with hermits exercising different yoga positions. Now pay attention to the map, on the mobile. To get to the ordination hall, you will embark on a somewhat spiritual journey, crossing several rooms from the periphery to the center. An excellent metaphor for the path that Buddhism proposes. A journey from the external, scattered and illusory world to one's own inner self, where enlightenment can only be attained. The walls you are about to pass through could be the veils that, like ignorance, distract us from what is truly real. And please, don't forget about the lingam, that visitors will observe on their way to the Ubosat. In the Hindu spiritual tradition, the lingam is a sacred symbol representing creative energy, and the power of Shiva. It has a phallic shape and in Thailand, it is associated with fertility and regeneration. If it's time for you to embark on motherhood, you can propitiate its beneficial action with an offering. Otherwise, don't even breathe when passing by it. What do you think if we make a brief summary now, of the Wat Po Monastery? If you don't feel like it, here is the end. Of the audio guide, only the audio guide. You have visited a Buddhist monastery built under the patronage of the monarchy. It is a magnificent example, due to its great state of conservation. As a fundamental part of all monasteries, you have stopped to observe the stupas and the ubosat, or ordination hall, where the main Buddha is located. It was a great opportunity, as they are not usually open to the lay public. You have also visited the giant reclining Buddha, very famous for its enormous dimensions and beauty. On this occasion, the statue symbolizes the end of Buddha's journey in the earthly world. Once he has fulfilled his mission, he dies and reaches Nirvana. Along with the mudra of the reclining Buddha, you have learned about three others, the mudra of calming the oceans, the mudra that invites relatives not to fight with each other, and the mudra in which Buddha blesses those present. Finally, during this visit, you were able to see that Buddhism has a friendly relationship with other beliefs, as well as inviting you to take a journey into your own interior. Have a good day and take care of your karma.